Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm going to do an update. I figured I haven't done one in a little bit. So we'll kind of go through some of the stuff we've been doing around here. So as you can see behind me, we got slat wall. We have some of our skid plates to just kind of display the slat wall right now. It's still not organized. We still need a lot more in. But one thing you might notice is the Carpet is gone. Tack strips are gone. I did a little patch over here of the cement that cracked when we were pulling up that wall when the nails popped out the concrete. So this is looking pretty good, I would say. Our awesome stickers. So if you're a YouTuber and you just want to have us to have some stickers out here, send us some stickers. We will put them here and people can take them. I had a guy come in the other day. He was a guy showing us the Rar Mantis, a rep. He also reps some other companies like Troy Lee Designs and Quiet Cat and Doost. I think it's another e-bike. And he picked up some stickers like single track squids. He grabbed one of mine, you know, grabbed an A&M. He grabbed Crash Hard Enduro. So I'm out of Crash Hard Enduros. But I think that's kind of a cool idea. People want a sticker. They'll pick it up. And plus, it lets me tell, tell them about the, uh, the person, like Crash Hard Enduro. I told the guy all about him, told him how big his audience is on Instagram, and he was going to look into him. So, you know, it might be a good avenue to get some exposure that you don't have, and it just costs you a sticker. So, you might, if you send us stickers, I'll put the address here to mail us stickers. I would say just mail us like maybe 5 to 10 to begin with. We'll see how that goes. This wall over here, we've always said we'll put a TV there. I think down here we'll do like another piece of slat wall. I was thinking pegboard just because it's cheap and we can get it, but we really like the slat wall over there, the black. So I think we'll do that over here. What we'll do is put some trail snacks right here on pegs. I already got two cases of these uh, roasted peanuts I really liked in Tennessee. They were awesome to work with. It's like called Bud's Peanuts, Uncle Bud's Peanuts, I believe. I'll bring you more when they come in exactly and show you the packages. But there's like salted, garlic, Cajun, hot, old something, another. I forget what. <laughs> but they were really good and you actually eat the peanut shell. I thought that would be a good trail snack food, but then maybe we'll do like Kate's bars. We need to contact her, maybe that. Maybe we'll do some of those uh, stinger honey like gel shots in the gummies and just some other stuff. I don't know, We're like trail snacks, right? And have the TV up there still. And then over here, the big news is, well, we got the, the Beta 390 in. That's gonna be rented here tomorrow along with one of the 300s i do believe and then we got the reahus in here now so here's the reahu for those that don't know yeah look at that it's a sexy looking bike ours works perfect no issues 390 works perfect no issues got the flags got the reflex racing over full wraps over here Good stuff. So we got this mat, a lot thinner than what we thought it would be, I think on Amazon. So not 100% happy with that, <laughs> but uh, it wasn't outrageously expensive. And you know, that's why I kind of made a give saying go because maybe somebody has something. Maybe somebody will step up and say, hey, you know, I have some mat or I work in the industry and we get this stuff, I'll just, get you some good stuff at cost, you know, some nice thick mat material. We just kind of want to protect this cork floor. We did buy this workbench. It was on sale for half off at Home Depot. So we went ahead and got it. We put it together. It was kind of a pain in the butt. The drawers are a little funky to assemble. Maybe they will hold quite a bit of weight. I don't know if they fooled us by having two slide out drawer dealy boppers over here. And over here, which makes it seem like, oh, it should hold a lot of weight. I don't know. <laughs> but that's the only negative, really. Of course, each drawer has a lock, so we could potentially lock it. They are all keyed the same, though. But they give you two keys in each lock. 
Uh, it has a pegboard on the back. The top is actually really nice. I would say that's really decent wood there. So I think we'll probably want to get like a bench vise, clamp that down on here, probably get like a bench grinder or something. You know, just like little stuff that we might use, but that stuff can wait until we really need it. Or, you know, we start bringing in some money and we're like, okay, let's allocate a little money towards more tools, more uh, stuff here. Because we're not gonna be a full blown shop, but we are gonna wanna work on our own stuff. And we're gonna wanna work on the rental bikes and the e-bikes, just putting stuff together. So we're gonna do like a lift here so haven't quite decided on who we have some ideas and that might be like a runoff a air compressor and we'll get one of those ultra quiet ones hopefully it can like fit maybe under there or in the corner or something and you know just mainly power the lift because most tools now you can buy electric and they're damn good or even plug in, we can plug stuff in, but that's the downside of this space. It's like, there's a plug there, there's a plug there, and there's nothing up until under the window. <laughs> so yeah, lacking on the plug situation here. If I was, if I was to design this space, I obviously, we were did a bunch of plugs, like up high, down low, you know, for workbench. Still, Working on this, waiting for the artist to come back. She's family to my buddy Erin, so it's on her time schedule. She's only 16, but she's doing a great job so far. We're not in a big hurry, and if you would like something done like this in your place locally here in Colorado Springs, um, yeah, we could hook you guys up and she can give you a quote. We, we are paying her something for this. We're just not going to be paying her like the three to five thousand dollars that we saw advertised on like graffiti artist websites. It's like, ah, no, we no, we can't afford that. <laughs> but I think more places to do something like this because it just makes it nice. It makes it pop, you know. We still haven't tackled anything over here because this is kind of like just a luxury area for us because removing that wall will give us more space, but then I'm gonna have to 100% deal with that <laughs> because I just want that covered. Don't need people to be staring in here, you know, and with this door shut, only people that know will know, right? Want that gone. <laughs> so that will probably cost a few hundred dollars, two or 300 probably, just knowing cost of plywood, probably need two pieces of plywood. I'll need the, the trim to go around, which this stuff is, Kind of pricey i have one still um might need three of those four of those i don't know i'll return what i don't use of course but uh put the plywood in there frame it out with that to hold it in the shelves over here they're painted i just need to actually i never put in any screw so you could probably put some weight over there, but not a lot. I need to put screws so that is the shelves can take some weight. <laughs> I just use the, is it called Brad's, the Brad nailer. So everything's in there. I, I, they can take quite a bit of weight because I put quite a few in. But you know what I mean. Have to have safety because, you know, a kid will come in and hang their body weight on something. And the last thing you do is want to just have it fall down. And we will eventually get a sofa. Again, like that's all luxury. Like a TV there, that's luxury, right? A TV on our side. I want the TVs to match. So we'll probably buy them at the same time. That way they match. We know how they hook up. And they'll probably be Roku TVs. That way it's easy, easy going. And then that way we could also easily stream over like videos, right? That's the other thing. Easily stream over videos. So that's, that's on the list, but not a priority. Um, same brand TV. I would like this TV actually be nicer than the other one because this one with the sofa and stuff, I think could be our like big TV for if we're entertaining, maybe we do like enduro cross get together or, or something, some race, you know, and we can hang out sofa and just have a place to hang, have a place to barbecue, maybe just find an old grill on Facebook 
leave it out back. That way if somebody steals it, they steal it and we won't care. But then we can do grilling, we can do some gathering, social events, um, have the bikes here as you see. Just epic stuff, epic, epic stuff. So that's the update on the space. I'll be bringing you more videos on the business itself. But if you can give, just even if it's a little, even if it's just really small, really small, um, it could be 10 bucks, five bucks, two dollars, doesn't matter. Anything will help. As you can imagine, starting a business takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of time, but it takes a lot of money. And that's before you're even open. That's why new businesses fail. We're lucky in that my business partner, Aaron, and I, well, he has a job. My wife is a professional. And I get a little bit of money on YouTube. And we're, I'm reinvesting that money into this business. I'm also knocking out a credit card I have. And I'll be, like, using that for strictly business and, and uh, revolving credit. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. But such setting stuff up at home. So, like... Home life ain't affected, if you know what I mean. Things aren't tied to me. I'll talk more about that in, a, in another video because it makes sense. Uh, but we're fortunate enough that we don't need to draw a pay for one year at least, if not two years. And that way the business has a very good chance. Surely if these other businesses I see with no clients all day long out here in the strip center can make it, Surely we can make it. So anything you can give just to help us that much little, maybe you have something we could use. Maybe you have some old tools. You're like, Hey, I'll bring down this, these tools. I don't need them anymore. You know, I have duplicates or whatever. We'll, we'll listen. We'll probably take you up on the offer because anything helps, whether it's cash or just helping us get this going. Maybe you're willing to come in here and donate some flooring. Although, we're just doing carpet pieces on the other side because that's the cheapest for like 500 bucks. We can lay and glue carpet tiles down. Over here, you know, maybe you have a piece of carpet that's small. Maybe you're in the carpet business. That would help us out drastically. Some industrial commercial grade carpet, that's nice. Could go in here, darker color because white's gonna get dirty. And yeah, we, could, we will have something to put there. Make this space at least nice. I get our space is a little big, so somebody having a piece over there is probably, probably won't happen. But maybe, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, you can help in many different ways. So if you can give something, that's awesome. Check the link down in the description. Give, send, go is who I set it up through because GoFundMe seems, they, they just take too much. So thanks for watching. Have a good one. Stay well, stay safe, my friends, and get out there and ride your dirt bikes, just like Morgan at Highland Cycle says. Have a good one. Bye.